S. Africans protest against shell oil exploration in pristine coastal area. Here's a summary of the article. Port Edward, South Africa, December 5th South Africans took to their beaches on Sunday to protest against plans by Royal Dutch Shell to do seamsic oil exploration they say will threaten marine wildlife such as whales, dolphins, seals and penguins on a pristine coastal stretch. A South African court on Friday struck down an application brought by environmentalists to stop the oil major exploring in the eastern seaboard's wild coast, rejecting as unproven their argument that it would cause irreparable harm to the marine environment, especially migrating humpback whales. Register now for free unlimited access to Reuters. Com at least 1,000 demonstrators gathered on a beach near Port Edward, a Reuters TV correspondent saw. Shell officials were not immediately available for comment, but the company said on Friday that its planned exploration has regulatory approval, and it will significantly contribute to South Africa's energy security if resources are found. Environmentalists are urging Shell and other oil companies to stop prospecting for oil, arguing that the world has no chance of reaching net zero carbon by 2050 if existing oil deposits are burned, let alone if new ones are found. South Africa's Environment Ministry referred Reuters to a statement late last month that the minister responsible for environmental affairs is not mandated to consider the application or to make a decision on the authorization of the seismic survey. Register now for free unlimited access to Reuters.com. This post received a score of 4,400, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I hate Shell so much. Most other oil corporations behave similarly as well. Do you mean like, this, or, this? Petroleum companies, holding a vital resource that we all need, hold so much power that they simply act with impunity. Historically, another example of petroleum companies controlling governments would be, in 1953, which was caused by the Anglo-Iranian oil company, one of the predecessor companies that would later form British Petroleum or BP as a reaction to Iran's prime minister intending to nationalize Iran's oil industry. The operation was a success and the prime minister was deposed. The Shah of Iran would eventually fill the power vacuum and increasingly amass greater and greater political power, with the resulting abuses leading to the Iranian Revolution of 1979, and Iran now becoming an anti-Western theocratic government. BP has a long history of fucking the world. I live in Maine. BP had an oil leak from a broken pipe in the Gulf of Mexico about 15 years ago. First, if you don't know where the Gulf of Mexico is, Google it, this is relative. See how far it is from Maine. There was a mass panic in the state that the spill would reach Maine and destroy our economy. Tourism and fishing, sometimes combined. Now picture being in Florida and dealing with the panic and ruined years of tourism and fishing. With little to no compensation. Fuck BP. I remember the Deepwater Horizon spill, huge environmental and economic impact over a large region. BP lobbied to relax inspection of equipment years before, including the blowout preventer that failed. Forgot the name, thank you. Yeah, it was declared the worst environmental disaster in the US I did Google this, lol. But yeah, it went all the way up to Canada, the panic. Our state lives off of the ocean, beaches, seafood, especially Maine lobster, and you can imagine what the pure disaster it would have been in our state. I also feel terrible for the states that were badly affected and did lose their living due to the spill. These people are the most exploited of all humans. My heart breaks for them. They can protest all they want but their own government is going to sell them short. Ah Ethiopia is on the line ha 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 ha. Fuck shell those cold, greedy MFS. S. Hell on earth. How the fuck is that allowed? Big brain human race. I absolutely refuse to ever pull into a shell station. This has been going back for decades. Greedy bastards all of them but especially shell. Hate to be the one to say it, but yeah, say goodbye to the area if they find a hint of profits nearby. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.